Hey, Terry Wolf out there. Hey, this is Martel and Reese, and we're back again. This is from the Eminem train, Leia. Peace. <laughs> Recently, uh, from one of the manufacturers that we really buy a lot of stuff from, and we still do because they're a top of the line manufacturer, came out with a weather signature diesel. Um, but to our perspective, we really didn't uh, like it. And we really didn't think that that was uh, weather signature diesel. So we came up with our own weather signature diesel. And um, what we did was we purchased a C44-9 by Kato or either Kato, whichever one you prefer. And we did our own weather signature on our Kato-9. So let's take a look on the weathering that we did. And uh, we will appreciate some comments from it later on. This is our C44-9 Kato or Kato-9 uh, with an ESU lock sound decoder. And this is our interpretation of a signature weather diesel. So we're going to show you snapshots of all the different points of the trucks, how the trucks was done, the roof, the grill, and so forth. But before we do that, we're going to go into also on a prototypic run and how this diesel runs, like a real diesel, how it starts up, how it runs, how it takes off, versus a ES uh, 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 tsunami decoder. Okay, so let's take a look on the Dash 9 and see how that runs. We'll hear the horn, we'll hear a couple other functions, and then we'll check out the uh, tsunami. You can also quail with this one too. Now this we know for a fact that you will not get your tsunami to run like this straight out of the box. He runs beautiful. And we're going to also show you that when she comes to a stop, she doesn't come to a dead stop. And in real life, uh, trains really don't do that in real life. Okay, so I'm going to bring this to a dead stop. Slow down, let it crawl to a stop. Nice and smooth. Now we'll go over and look at the Montana Lake. And this is by Athens with a tsunami decoder. You notice you cannot quail it on. Great sound, by the way. Yes, it's a great sound. And it's a beautiful model. It looks very beautiful. It's detailed well. Let's see how she, she uh, starts out. It's a, uh, it's a 
starts out really fast. The engineer and brakeman just snap their necks. <laughs> and see also that it shutters. Yeah, and it shutters. And it shut off. Now, mind you, the tracks are clean and the wheels are clean on this. And this is actually straight out of the box. Yep. And you see it stops at a dime. Both are straight out of the box. in some of the videos that some folks um, basically release online um, some of these engines they run pretty well um, it may be due to the revision of the Dakota itself uh, because uh, any basic form factor uh, that goes into the microprocessor basically have different revisions and I noticed that revision B of the Tsunami Dakotas actually run better. Now, granted, we haven't taken this apart to know what revision it is, so I'm assuming it's the first uh, revision uh, Dakota that's actually installed on this particular model. And again, when you stop, it stops on the down. Yeah, the engineers broke their necks again. Now we'll take, that, take a look at the ESU decoder on our Kato. So, there you go. You decide. Signature by the 3M brothers or signature by you decide. Tsunami or lock sound. Notice that we don't mention the manufacturer of the signature series. We don't want to ding them because they, they come with some pretty decent products. I mean, if you are a savvy, um, conscious model railroader, you will know what we're talking about. Yes. So on that note, this is Martel and Maurice and Mike from the m and Peace. Out. Actually, Mike couldn't be here. Peace. Great. And you can also check us out for more details on um, purchasing this um, Dash 9 and other diesels and yeah. rolling stock too. We will, you, you will see on the site the information to go to. Peace.